very sleepy so the plan today is to go to a place I found on the map where there's just one really small river like very small river that separates Thailand and Myanmar now you know about the situation in Myanmar it's fucked up uh, and I think in that place is the closest I can be to Myanmar without breaking the law. So, we're gonna go there, see what's up. Maybe we can wave to someone from Myanmar. And after that, I want to go to an island. And I know nothing about this island, so... driving for two hours now and I think I still have like three more hours uh, to drive uh, to that place but more south go to Chumpong and then turn right cross the mountain range and get to that river and now I'm just gonna eat something because I didn't have any breakfast it's 9 a.m. already and I am starving That's good. Mm. Cured meat and sticky rice. Love there. So just to tell you guys, I took my uh, scooter all the way from Bangkok. I rode to Hua uh, a few days ago and now uh, I'm going all the way to Ranong. I chatted to someone from the island, Payong Island, and they said it's possible to um, get to the island, uh, which is perfect. And now I took a little bit of a detour because the only ferry that goes to Payong Island is at 10 a.m. If so, I'm taking a little bit of a detour here because I saw this sign about a cave monastery so we're gonna go check out the cave monastery look at this mark maybe two is this for real oh uh, cave cave oh okay okay where you come from uh Romania Romania. Romania. How long? Thailand. Uh, uh, one year. One year. One year. Uh, COVID, you not have? No, 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 oh, no, yes. no, have no. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The monk called me back from. I was climbing these steps. He called me back. He asked me, "Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, do you have COVID?" Uh, and I think he's gonna show me inside the monastery. I have a banger. I'm a banger. In Thailand. Three years. Three years? Three years. Uh-huh. Banger. Uh-huh. And before? Before I'm technician for Peter. Oh, really? Uh, in Bangkok. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, network. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Network.
I don't know if you could hear, but the guy was telling me that uh, he was uh, an electrical engineer in Bangkok and uh, his wife died of cancer three years ago. So he became a monk, yeah, starving, boiling, thirsty, which is a killer combination. So yeah, we're just gonna go down and try to find, I think there was a shop nearby, so... Uh... <laughs> As I told you, we are going to attempt to find a place where we can see Myanmar from really, really close. And I believe we have found it. Uh, let me show you guys. There we go. Here, on this shore, it's Thailand. There is Myanmar. The only thing that separates the two countries is this river. Isn't that crazy? So close, yet so far away. You can just take a boat, cross it, and yeah, you're in Myanmar. Uh, now we're gonna go to a town nearby where there actually is a port as well. And uh, it's just a bit further down the river, a few kilometers from here, we're gonna go there and check out the port. Welcome ladies and gentlemen from the bustling streets of Krabri. Uh, this is a town that is on the same banks of the river you've seen just earlier, a few kilometers south from where we stopped last. And uh, what I want to show you is if I would go to the port, I want to see what the situation is because from the port uh, you can obviously see the uh, Myanmar side. So I'm curious, going to the port, what will happen there? Is there any uh, exchange? Are there any fishing ships going to Myanmar or returning from Myanmar into Thailand? Or what's the situation? We're just gonna look for the port now and see what we're gonna find. As you can see, it's a lovely place, Crabbery. I'll show you. He's got a lot of businesses open and uh, lots of stuff happening around here. As you can see, you can buy everything for your garden. So here we are, the port of Krabuli. There you have Myanmar there. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, on the other side of this river, there is a military government killing people, and you can't say, do nothing about it. You can see the, there are people living from there. I'm going to this side. So that does happen. No one seems to care about it. They seem pretty out in the open. This is like we're in town here, huh? In the town of Club D. So I think it's just quite normal for people to move from one side to the other. No questions asked. Probably the, the two, that village, whatever that may be, is probably quite connected with this one. You know, family members of... Yeah, who knows? Well, yeah, I can see the guys uh, that just crossed uh, the river from that side. They have some bamboo uh, sticks or something like that and they're just putting them in the car there. So, uh, there is exchange between the two. That's for sure. Uh, despite what you hear on TV or whatever is like uh, controlling the borders or whatever is not really made. Uh, obviously these two communities 
they need to you know work together to sustain their livelihoods so it makes sense okay guys i'm gonna try and find a place to put a uh, uh to charge my phone and uh after that onwards to run home you've been waiting for it's the light coming to the crack out that river which used to be let's say 100 meters wide 50 100 meters wide look at this now it's a big ass river just flowing into the sea and fucking sink so I managed to get to Ranong and I found myself a hotel uh, just in the center and it's all good really tired very very long drive it was what 11 hours in total and it's just sundown now and i was hoping to find a place to see the sunset but i'm on the wrong side of the beach let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the other shore Another store there, like houses and everything, and there's the sun. Guys, so this is it, Rayong, Ra Rayong, uh, Ranong, Ranong, and a perfect view to end the day. Look at this stuff. as well. Moon rising. <laughs>